Centre of Scotland Stone just north of Dalwini northbound carriageway of the A9 close to the centre of Scotland including islands by OS centre of gravity method there is some debate as to the location of the geographical centre of Scotland. This is due to different methods of calculating the centre, and whether surrounding islands are included. In 2002, the Ordnance Survey calculated the centre using a mathematical centre of gravity method. This is the mathematical equivalent of calculating the point at which a cardboard cutout of Scotland could be perfectly balanced on the tip of a pen. It becomes complicated when the islands are included so one simplification is just to ignore them. Eastern slopes of Dunkowilich and Glengulandi, east of Skye Alley in the Ordnance Survey calculated that the centre of mainland Scotland is at NN 7,673,153,751. The point is 5 kilometers east of the mountain of Skialian, which is sometimes claimed to be at the center of Scotland. The center point including islands was found to be at grid reference NN 6,678,471,599. This is on a hillside near Loch Gary, between Dalwini and Blair Athol and close to the A9 road and the railway line. Nearby, it is claimed that the center lies a few miles from the village of Newtonmore, Badenoch. It is marked by a stone set into a wall. Another cruder method is to take the intersection between the line of latitude midway between the most northerly and southerly points on the Scottish mainland, and the line of longitude midway between the most easterly and westerly points. In the days when Cor Chodmore and Ardnamurkin was undisputedly the most westerly point, this also produced 56 degrees 39 minutes n, 4 degrees 0 minutes w, very near the summit of Skialian. However the construction of the sky bridge, arguably turning sky into part of the Scottish mainland, may have upset some of these calculations. Faskley Cottage's less credible candidates for the centre of Scotland also exist. The Society of Antiquaries of Scotland in 1908 suggested the megalithic Faskley Cottage's standing stones. The Society were aware of other contenders of the centre of Scotland, various spots have been so designated, a site at Struan, several miles to the NW of Faskley, also a house on the Killycranky Road being the most talked of besides a house in the fair city of Perth itself. The centre of Stirling Bridge, the heart of Scotland Matthew Paris's map of 1247 shows a clear north-south divide to Scotland. Proverbially Stirling is the strategically important gateway to the Highlands. It has been said that Stirling, like a huge brooch clasps Highlands and Lowlands together. There is also an east-west divide as told in the story as recorded by Boss who relates that in 855 Scotland was invaded by two Northumbrian princes, Osbrecht and Ella. They united their Northumbrian Anglian forces with the lowland Strathclyde Britons in order to defeat the Highland Pictish Scots. Having secured Stirling Castle, they built the first stone bridge over the fourth. On the top they reportedly raised a crucifix with the inscription, Anglos, a Scottish separate, Crux Ista Remotus, Arma Hex Stant Bruti, Stant Scotty Hoc Sub Cruz Tutti. It may be the stone cross was a tripoint for the three kingdoms borders or marches. In this way the stone cross in the centre of Stirling Bridge was the heart of Scotland. Andy Scott Aria Cumbernauld with a poem Watershed inscribed on its base. The M8 towards Glasgow from the footbridge at Heart of Scotland services the centre of the central belt may also be a point of interest. The Heart of Scotland services known as Hart Hill is close to the centre of the M8 motorway, Scotland's main road linking east with west. Cumbernauld, also in the central belt, is a watershed with one of its rivers flowing to the east and the other flowing west. This watershed test could also apply to other sites like the summit of Ben Lomond being on the line of the Scottish watershed but Cumbernauld arguably has this property in its very name. A map of Scotland's watershed has been produced for walkers. There have been other centres suggested, such as the furthest point from salt water including sea locks. The point furthest from the mean high water mark is in Glencoich, near Bramer, in Aberdeenshire which is 67. 6 kilometres from the sea. As with other topics like defining the location of the North Pole the answer largely depends on which criteria you choose. Gartinkaber Tower, now destroyed some have also claimed Gartinkaber Tower for the title. Even some Stirlingshire residents consider it ahead of Stirling Bridge. Thanks for watching.